Hi, my name is Mary Poffenroth, and I'm an adjunct professor of biology, and today we're going to talk about threats to biodiversity. Now, biodiversity, just so we all have a good working definition, is the differences in life we find around the planet. Now, we all know that we have a lot of environmental problems, and these environmental problems are causing lots of pressure on all the different species around our planet. We can start by using an acronym HIPPO, H-I-P-P-O. Now this is going to stand for the different threats that biodiversity is currently experiencing. First, H, that stands for habitat loss. Habitat loss is a real big problem. As humans continue to grow and expand, we take up natural native lands for our mini malls and our houses and our schools and our roads. That means that organisms no longer have a place to live. I is for introduced or invasive species. These are species that have come from somewhere else. They haven't evolved naturally in the area that they were put there artificially, usually by us, and they have no natural predators. Many times they can outcompete for resources the organisms that are supposed to be there. Our first P is population. Now you could probably guess we don't have a population problem with our plants and animals, it's more of a human population problem. As our population continues to skyrocket, we need more resources and more space to accommodate all these billions of people. And when that happens, plants and animals, they are the ones that are gonna lose out. Our second P is pollution. Now, pollution's a big problem, not just for biodiversity, but for human health as well. We get pollution in the air, in our water, even in our soil. All this pollution comes from the different products we've made and all the artificial chemicals we've created in the lab. Lastly, it's over-exploitation. Over-exploitation is taking too much from the environment, taking too much fish, or taking too much resources from the land, and this is causing a big problem. Here on the planet, we have finite resources, and these finite resources, there's only so much available. Now, if we continue to take and waste, there's not gonna be enough left to go around for the natural organisms living in nature, as well as humans. No organism on our planet lives in a vacuum. All organisms depend on one another, including us. So when we protect biodiversity from the threats to biodiversity, we're not only protecting the plants and animals and fungi and all the organisms out there, we're also ensuring the survival of our own species. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna learn more about this subject, click on the link below. Or if you wanna learn more biology, feel free to click on any links around me. And please rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Or maybe, if you have ideas for more videos, send us an email at requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for learning.